What's going on today? We're talking about a new vulnerability that has been reported yesterday. The vulnerability affects the plus add ons for Elementor page builder, which is equal or less than 4.1.6 uh, the version. Now the vulnerability allows authentication bypass and the complete site takeover or complete WordPress site takeover. So this vulnerability is rated as um, high in severity. So you know what I mean? If we head to WordPress, okay, so as you can see, if you have Elementor and installed, right? And if we go to Elementor add on. Now, I haven't installed the plugin, but I'm going to show you what I mean. Elementor. Elementor. Now, the effect of the plugin is the the essential add-on Elementor. It the plus add-on. So here we should add the plus Elementor plus add-on. Now this is the affected plugin, the plus add-ons for Elementor, Elementor page builder. If you have this plugin and if it is lower than or below the version 4.1.6, 4, 4 then your site is vulnerable and attackers can now exploit the vulnerability and take complete ownership or take over your site, WordPress site. It's not, it's not a joke. So, okay. so. This is the page of from WB Scan. You can find more information about this vulnerability. As you can see, this plugin is being actively exploited by malicious actors to bypass authentication, allowing unauthenticated users to log in as any user, including admin, by just providing the related username as well as create a new admin account. So by exploiting the vulnerability, the attackers will be able to create a new username as admin and take over your site. Uh, more information about the CV number is here. Plugin exploitation. All right, now let's talk about how to spot if you are vulnerable. Now, if you're if the, the Elementor Plus add-on in your site is below 4.1.6, then your site is vulnerable and can be taken over at any time. Now, how to check for the indicators of compromise? How to know if your site is actually compromised? So if you have Elementor plus add-ons, which is below four, below or equal four one six, and you want to know if your site is compromised, you have to look for two items. Check for new registered users with email addresses as their username. So what you will have to do here, you will have to, um, okay. So get back here, go to users, and check if the usernames here, right, are registered as email addresses. If one of them are is registered as email address, and if it is strange, it means that uh, it is a user that has been added by an attacker. Now the next indicator of compromise, check for the new plugins especially if one of them is labeled as WB staff. So you would go to uh, plugins and check here for any plugin that has WB staff in its label. See, for my case, I don't have any. I have many plugins, yes, but I don't have any plugin that is labeled as WB staff. You can also check the theme editor if you go to theme editor, I understand. Okay. And go to functions.php. Check here for something like WB staff. There is nothing. Also, you can check the theme footer or theme header. All right. Now, the last thing is how to mitigate and patch. So basically, if you are unable to update, right, you have to just deactivate the plugin or delete it. If you are able to update, the best course of action is to update uh, the plugin to avoid your site being compromised and hacked. 
Now, more information about this vulnerability can be found in the WB scan page. Okay, and this is the OWASP classification of the vulnerability broken authentication and session management. Since it leads to authentication bypass, and hence the attackers will be able to uninstall further uh, malicious code on your site to maintain access. This is the submitter name, and the vulnerability has been reported two days ago. As you can see, the last update is today, six hours ago. Um, as I said earlier, the first course of action is to update the plugin or deactivate it since it is zero day. All right, so that was for today. See you in the next video.